now two months. I was basically one of the kind of people that went to church, was involved in church. By all means, I was a deacon in church. But I had not surrendered my whole life to Christ. I had asked Him to be my Savior. I got fire insurance. But I hadn't given my life to Him solely surrendered my life to Him. And there's a difference. Because once you do, you're never the same. And that's what He calls from all of us. So Zacchaeus had heard a story about a man named Jesus. He had heard that Jesus had done miracles. Jesus had healed people. He had fed thousands. He had done all these things. Zacchaeus, being a rich tax collector, knew that his life wasn't right. He had a lot of things in it that was wrong. He had a lot of money. He could buy anything he wanted to. He ran with all of the, the uppity-ups. He could do just about anything he wanted to. But he knew that something wasn't right. So as the story goes here, Zacchaeus knew that Jesus was coming to town. So he wanted to see him. He wanted to see who this man is that everybody talked about and everybody said he's God's son. He's the Messiah. So I don't know if you know much about Jericho, but Jericho is one of the oldest cities, inhabited cities in the world. And in Jericho, they have things called sycamore trees. And as I began to understand more about sycamore trees, I started thinking more about the oak tree we have here. This oak tree here is the symbol of Geneva, has been the symbol of Geneva for many, many years. If you look at the history of the oak tree, it was here back when the Constitution of the United States was signed. That's a long time, 1787. And this tree has stood strong during floods, during many things that have happened here, good things and bad things. But the tree has been healthy. But lately, the tree has started to have problems. It started to have some disease problems. Some of the branches have even started to break. If you go under the tree, you'll see braces underneath. The tree is starting to show what's happened to the fabric of our country. It's breaking just like the biblical foundation of this country is breaking. Because we've walked away from God. We've walked away from God. We've told our public squares and schools and everybody else, we don't need them. We're going to be independent. Well, how's that working out for us? Not very well. Zacchaeus knew things weren't going very well for his life. He needed a touch of this man named Jesus. So, as you read in the scripture, Zacchaeus didn't walk in the crowd and try to get to a spot where he could see Jesus. He ran. And as you look at history and you look at the men of that day, adults did not run anywhere. They just didn't. It was seen as something that was just... It, it was beneath these. You don't run anywhere to see anything. But Zacchaeus did. And on top of that, he climbed a sycamore tree. Now, these sycamore trees are about 40 to 50 foot tall. And out of the sycamore tree, they would harvest things from that tree to make what was called the psalm oil. It was very rich oil very expensive, very wealthy. Now, there weren't many trees there in that land, but there was sycamore trees. Rich man tree. That's what Zacchaeus decided to climb. 
And if you look at the pictures and you see what a sycamore tree looks like, the trunk on this thing is huge. You cannot put your arms even nearly around a fraction of it. It's, it's so big around. But Zacchaeus found some way to get up this tree because he knew he needed to set his eyes on the Savior. He knew he needed to see something that everybody had talked about. He knew he needed his life to change. 